anything uh, stand out that you wanted to correct or anything that, that's the first thing that stands in your mind? The first thing we should was the interception. Uh, should have gone away, got hit by a tackle, by throwing the ball. But, um, otherwise, than that, a great job by the offense today. I'm really proud of everybody. Were you nervous at all to start for the first time? No. I was probably nervous earlier in the week, but when it came to actually like today. Dwayne, you've been waiting for this day a long time, and you've been doing it patiently. To come out and be the first quarterback in Ohio State history to throw for five touchdowns and to throw for 300 yards in the first start, can you just take a deep breath and just enjoy the fact that you made it to this point? Yeah, it's been an 11-year dream. And uh, I was thinking about that yesterday. It's like how far I came just to be here and just uh, have this opportunity. It's a blessing. Uh, just take a deep breath and realize that it's finally here, but you keep getting better and going to the next week. And as you can imagine, uh, fans have gone through a lot in the last few weeks with what's going on, and I'm sure the team has too. Yeah. But they were really excited to see a new face, a quarterback, and see somebody can throw it the way you do. Seem to cling to you a little bit. Do you kind of feel like you are the thing that they can look forward to as the I season? I feel like this our offense is so dynamic. Uh, not only me, but everybody else can uh, a lot of things this year. I feel like the fans have a lot of stuff to look forward to. Dwayne, we saw the video of you as a fifth grader saying you're going to be the quarterback of Ohio State. Yeah. Ten years ago, did you envision your first start playing out like this? Uh, man, not, I mean, I thought, but not, not as realistic. You know, just, you know, it was a dream. It was just a little kid. And you know, just being able to go out there and play the field today is just a good moment. Dwayne, uh, Ryan Day described it as a quiet confidence. Were you, did you feel that? Or any nerves outside of... I mean, going into the game, or did you kind of just get yourself going a little bit? No, I feel like I was, I was pretty mellow and pretty good, ready to start. Just having this older guys like Isaiah and Terry and Paris and Johnny to be able to, you know, trust in me and know that I was able to get the job done just helps me out a lot. How important was it for you to go back out there after the interception and, you know, take your guys down there and get them to touch you? Well, it means the world. Um, Terry, before the job, told me they're going to face that person. This is one of here. So just be able to. Get over that interception, go to the next drive, and leave the team down the field. This is going to happen a lot this year. I'm not hoping for the interception. What was going on in your head when you threw that interception and you kind of chased the guy down? Like, all that stuff. Just what? What kind of mindset did you I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't really see what happened because I was on the way, on the way to the ground. But after I seen him have the ball, I'm like, I'm trying to get the 